everyone welcome back again um finally i'm going to take you on a coupon shop it's only a small one um as i currently don't have any ink in my printer um so i managed to nip out to my grandma's this morning and used her printer so i've got a few um it is only a little shop it is just purely for some items that i'm going to use um as i always have a rule that i don't coupon for things i don't use Unless they're necessarily going to be free or very, very reduced, in which case I will coupon for them, but I'll donate them. Um, but these are items I'm going to use. There is a little shop in Sainsbury's and a little shop in Asda. Um, I've worked out, if you can see here, these are the coupons I'm using, how much the item is and how much it will be after. There's my Asda on the bottom, Sainsbury's one on the top. Um, now, like I said, it is only a small one. Um, I've currently got a £2 off pull-ups. Um, which my um, eldest son, he's only three, he uses. Uh, these are currently um, £2 in Sainsbury's. According to the website, don't always stick by what the website says. Sometimes pricing still change. But their website says they're £2. So the £2 off, this will make them free. Um, I then also have three of these. These are £1.50 off Annabelle Carmel Chilled Toddler Meals. Now, my youngest son, Jackson, he likes these. Um, and according to their website, again, these are £2. So three of these, that makes them only 50 pence. Um, make sure you always read, sorry, I'm holding my phone, so it's put all over the place. Make sure you always read the terms and conditions on the coupon, um, just so you know. This one says, only one coupon may be used per product purchased. So that doesn't mean that it's only one per transaction or one per person. It means one per product. So if I buy three meals, I can use one coupon for each meal. Now, I did have some problems in Sainsbury's when I used them last time. They tried to say that they weren't valid, um, which I knew they were, and then they tried to say that I couldn't use them in one transaction. So I did actually, which I don't like doing, but I did actually have to say, read the terms and conditions, it says one per product. So if you know you're right, stick to your guns. Make sure you know what your terms and conditions are, stick to your terms and conditions, and then you shouldn't have a problem. As long as you're doing everything right, then it's just down to them whether they want to be funny about it. So I have, that's four coupons there. And then I have, thank you to the lovely Alison from Twitter. I did receive your letter and she'd sent me this coupon. And this is for 50p off any, it says of any Santa Maria product in Sainsbury's. Now I've had a look online, they've got some of their spice mixes at only 50p, so that'll make that free. So according to my list here, we have a before total of £8.50 and we have an after total of £1.50 as long as everything goes right so that should be fine. Sorry about that, my younger son is running around and he managed to get hold of the Xbox controller so that was going on and off like mad. Uh, yes, yeah, so that was the Sainsbury shop. The next one is the Asda shop and I have three coupons for Asda. I have two which I think a lot of people have managed to get hold of. I could only get two. Um, two of these, they are free. Um, little dish uh, pot or pie these are see I think these are the new product that they've just bought out um, now I've had a look online on um, where did I, Asda sorry completely forgot where we were shopping then Asda um, they are currently three four five pounds um, and now if you read the terms and conditions doesn't say anything at all about not being used in conjunction with an offer all it says um, is only one coupon may be used per product purchased. It says may not be used in conjunction um, with the same. Yeah, so you can use, they're three for five pound, so I can buy two, so I can buy three, and I can use both of these because I've got three items. Now, I've seen a lot online that these are actually um, scanning more, giving you overage. Overage isn't always guaranteed. Sorry, there is someone just there that is not too happy. Overage isn't always guaranteed, but seeing as how it's free and it's a free item, they normally import the value of the product individually, in which case these are £2.50 individually. So by ju just using these two, that means I'll get all three for free uh, because their two coupons together will be £5. But then Asda also have in their current magazine is this it's one pound off a little dish meal and it says here only one coupon see this one's slightly different it says only one coupon per transaction and only one coupon per person 
So I couldn't buy three meals and use three of these. I can buy three meals and use one of these. Um, if you can see there, it says it in there. So basically, as I'm buying three meals, I've got three coupons. So it is one per product. So that should give me six pound off with the total being uh, five pounds. So that should give me an extra pound overage. And as we need toilet roll, that will take that off and it should be like a pound-ish. So that's my little Asda list. Um, I'm going shortly to pick my son up from play school and then we will be going and seeing what we can find and hopefully I'll be able to take you with me. I'm not sure how much I can film because I don't really know if I'm allowed um, but hopefully I should be able to film something so see you shortly. So I'm currently waiting for my mum to finish work before we go and do our first um, coupon little trips. It is so hot, it's ridiculous. It's something like 29 degrees today and I'm in a long sleeve top, I don't even know why. Um, so I'm not sure if I can take you into Asda to show you my little trip. I've just rang them and um, spoke to head office um, regarding filming in their store and they don't have a policy such to say you can't, um, but I've got to send uh, a lady to give me her email address. I've got to send all the information about what I want to do, blah, blah, blah. I didn't want to film, put it on YouTube and then get in trouble with Asda because I shouldn't have done it. So I thought I'd contact first just to see what the rules were. Like I said, don't necessarily have a policy to say you can't, but they also don't have one to say you can. So I have to email her with all the details of who I, who my YouTube channel is, what I'm filming for, what I do, um, and then they're gonna give me a decision based on that. Basically, she said it's a case-to-case -case, um, decision. So they may say yes, they may say no. It just depends on your circumstances. Um, but I'm still going to go and do the shop. I will show you me going into Asda um, and then I'll show you me coming out of Asda. I'll show you my receipts. You can see how it went. Um, so the only thing I can't really do is show you in it um, going through the till because obviously I don't know the rules on that. Um, I'm not sure about Sainsbury's, um, but we'll see. So be back soon. Sorry, correct that. It is actually, according to my car, 30 degrees. If that hair back thing, there you go. Oh no, wait. 31 degrees it's hot um, so we have just been to Sainsbury's to do the first little bit um, I couldn't take you in there to film but I had my trusty assistant who is just there um, we got here's a receipt to show you the coupons that I used and that they went through the total before was £8.50 and afterwards I paid £1.50 and um, the first couple did scan fine uh, but the next three which we used for um, I can show you we used for these meals um, they didn't scan, but luckily the lady put them through itself. That one scanned fine, that was 50p, and the coupon 50p made it free. And then the last thing I got with these, these were £2, and the coupon was £2, so that made it free. Um, we are going off to Asda next. So we've just been into Asda, and I used the three coupons that I had. They all went through, oh, except the two for the free um, little dish meal. The supervisor had to come over, but she entered them manually. Um, my mum added some hooks on so the total was a little bit higher but if you can see there um, we used uh, one of the £1 coupons that came off and then the two at £2.70 that came off then the three for £5 came off which was the £2.50 um, so in actual fact it was £2.50 I paid but I also got toilet roll, a bottle of Pepsi and two little pots which my son just there is holding two little pots of Cadbury's yoghurt um, so for the extra four items and the three meals, I only paid £2.50. I will show you all when I got home what we actually managed to get. So this is everything I got from um, Astra and Sainsbury's. Like I said, it was a small one. Um, we have three of these. That was from Sainsbury's. We have three of them, some toilet roll, pull-ups and a bottle of Pepsi. Um, all together, my before coupon total. So altogether my total was £16.40 but after I paid £1.50 in Sainsbury's and I and I paid £2.50 in Asda. So for £4 I got £16.40s worth of shopping. Now I did have a few issues in Sainsbury's and Asda, nothing major. Um, the three um, coupons in Sainsbury's for these, um, they didn't want to scan. Um, but the lovely lady that was on the supervisor, she just put them through manually and that was fine. Um, and then also when I went to Asda, the two that I had for these um, wouldn't scan either. Um, the one I had for Asda's own one at the magazine, that scanned fine. But the two I had for the three meals didn't scan. But again, the supervisor came over, she actually scanned them, she actually put them through at £2.70, not £2.50. So I did get overage. So I then got the toilet roll and the Pepsi. Um, and got even cheaper. So for £4, I got £16.40 worth of products.